As always, it's the start of a new month and the staff lists for the upcoming super episodes have been released. Since we've got a break at the end of the month, we've only got three episodes to cover today, but that's 100% okay because this is a bit of a weird staff list, but also one that's actually kind of exciting. So let's jump right in. First up is episode 127, this week's upcoming episode, which we already know quite a lot about thanks to the NEP, as well as the writer tweeting out that he'd written the episode. So to reiterate, in case you did miss that, this episode is super supervised by Masahiro Shimanuki and Hiroyuki Itai, the latter of which is probably the most interesting inclusion since his last episode was episode 123, meaning he will have only had four weeks between episodes. That's a really strange rotation time to see considering the norm these days can often be double that. Shimanuki, for example, hasn't had an episode in seven weeks. I imagine Itai is probably not going to be animating much, instead sticking primarily to corrections. I think that's probably the only way I see this working. Weirdly, he's listed second, which tends to mean he'll be on the second half. I would have thought Shimanuki, the guy with more time, would have been the one to tackle the half that they tend to put the most emphasis on. Interesting decision there, so I have to say I'm not really sure what to expect. Toei Philippines are never listed in advance, so there's always the possibility this will be an episode with three or four supervisors. Not the first time we've seen that, and that's not exactly ideal, but it is probably a better option than struggling with time. Either way, I think it's important to remember that both of these supervisors are guys whose episodes tend to hinge on the staff under them more than anything, so this is a little bit up in the air as far as quality goes regardless. Thankfully, we don't have to wait too long. It's being written by Kenichi Yamashita, who first wrote for Super back in episode 120. I have to say that episode was a bit nothing as far as content goes, but I don't think that's really the writer's fault in this case. The subject matter he had wasn't exactly the best, so I think what he managed to do was probably fine enough. This will be his proving episode though, if you can't make a finale fight remotely interesting, then there's probably a bit of an issue with you. It's being directed by Takahiro Imamura, who you may remember me talking about in previous Staff List videos. He's someone who's incredibly hit and miss. Sometimes he does great work, like in 122, but other times, well, you end up with episode 115, which really lacks any of the oomph it actually required. The storyboard's coming from one good director and one bad director, so fingers crossed if Imamura's not doing his best work, Mr. Good Director's half will at least be framed nicely. It's from Masanori Sato, that's the one I don't like very much, and Kazuya Kar Kurosawa, who's one of Super's strongest staff members. His recent storyboard for episode 125 was fantastic. So yeah, as you can hear, this upcoming episode's all a bit strange and unpredictable. Definitely going to go in with measured expectations, and I recommend that you do the same. Lots could go wrong, but again, it's very unpredictable. Next up is 128. I've been interested in this one for a very long time. It's written by Toshio Yoshitaka, who mentioned back in, I want to say August, that he was writing a cool Vegeta episode. And going by the story summaries and the fact that this is likely his last episode on the series, this is it. I think we all know by now that he's one of the best writers, so I don't really have much more to say on that. I'm a huge Vegeta fanboy, so even though the inevitable is totally coming, I have faith that it will be a good send-off. On the supervisor front, we've got Yuji Hakamada and Osamu Ishikawa together. Hakamada was a supervisor back on Z, and he made his first proper debut on Super for episode 121. He was barely on that episode though, and it seemed like most of it was corrected, so maybe this time I'll actually get a chance to really gauge his modern style. Ishikawa being here presents a very similar issue to what Itai is facing in the last episode we spoke about. He was on 123, so he's only getting five weeks. Again, that's really strange. The usual rotations dictate that we should have had Tate and Manabe on either one of these episodes, but they're absolutely nowhere in sight, and I want you to keep that in mind because I'm going to touch on that later. The most interesting aspect of this episode is its storyboard, though. Tadayoshi Yamamuro is stepping back into that role once again after just doing this week's past episode. As you know, I thoroughly enjoyed his work there and was really surprised by just how creative many of its aspects were. I wanted to see more of this so I could really gauge how much he'd improved, and it looks like I'm getting my wish. Very cautiously optimistic about this, but excited either way just to see how it turns out. Director-wise, we've got Masanori Sato here. Again, like I said, I don't love Sato. I've probably disliked more of his episodes than I've liked, but he's definitely proven in a few cases that he's capable of delivering. Episode 123 of his was pretty great. Even if the actual episode itself was falling apart production-wise, 
Hopefully this one's a little bit better in that regard. Again, a bit of a mystery episode, but this one's probably the most exciting and most promising of these two Anomaly staff lists. Lastly, 129, this is far and away the most important of the bunch story-wise, so it's probably no surprise that it has the strongest staff of the month too. The scripts coming to us from Atsuhiro Tomioka, who I mentioned wrote the entire opening of this arc, and has been one of Super's best writers next to Toshio Yoshitaka over Super's run. I have no doubt in my mind that this will be one great script, so I'm super, super positive on that front. Keeping that in mind, we've got Far and Away Super's best director, Masato Mitsuka, at the helm here. In this half of the tournament alone, he's given us the second half of the special and the great Universe 6 Namekian episode. As per usual, he's storyboarding the episode too, so he's got all the creative control in the world. This should be one extremely exciting episode at the very least. Animation-wise, Koji Nashizawa and Hirotaka Ni are here. They last worked together on the first half of episode 122, which was decent enough. They've both shown themselves to be extremely competent supervisors and animators, and they've got the normal amount of time to get this done, so fingers crossed there are no issues there. I hope the only thing I have to complain about is Nashizawa's inability to draw characters from the front. So that's it. I said a while ago that February would be the big month to look forward to, and it definitely looks like I was largely wrong on that. I expected these episodes to be wild, with the likes of Tate, Manabe, and Kurosawa leading us into a huge finale, but they're absolutely nowhere to be found, and that's what makes this month's staff so strange. But like I said at the start of the video, I think this is probably something to look forward to as far as delivering on the final fight of this arc. It seems like they're going to put all of the bests on episode 130, and maybe 131 depending on how the series ends. Shida's confirmed for at least one episode before Super ends, Takahashi will no doubt be back, and I wouldn't be surprised if Onishi popped up again. Heki Yamamura is almost certainly going to do something considering how much he's actively participating on Super at the moment. It seems like we might be looking forward to another big end, but not necessarily a long end, if that makes sense. I predict a sort of Future Trunks ending 2.0 scenario, where they kind of blow their entire load on the final episode and then quickly wrap things up. I don't really know how I feel about that as far as the structure of this tournament goes, but I mean, let's be real for a second, the structure of this tournament has been pretty abysmal anyway, so it's not exactly a big downgrade. At this point, I have to say I'm more than content with one big old Sakuga Fest just to finish up the series. Fingers crossed. But that is all from me for now. Thank you to my Discord server for helping me actually remember my opinions on certain staff members. I swear, they probably remember things I've said better than I do. I'll leave a link to that in the description if anyone wants to join. It's a crazy place, but it's a lot of fun. But for now, let me know what your thoughts are on this month's staff and what you'd like to see for the finale. We're so close now. It's almost the end of Super. As always, be sure to rate the video, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you next time.